Well, gonna do a how to remove these studs on video. I think I've done it before. I know I posted a thing on like LS1 Tech too. My buddy he dropped off these heads. His name's Rob, and he has many broken studs. One, two, three. Two are slightly protruding, and uh, one is broken off fairly far back. So we will see if I can use my welder tricks here to get these out. Almost always I can, so it'd be neat to see. I have the camera propped up on the table, so hopefully I don't bang the table too damn much. Heads are pretty dirty. I mean, a super easy way to do it is get a nut on them. That one almost threads on the damn thing. Do the nut method for this one. See how well it works. If it works at all. Get that in the shot. Nice and cherry. 13. Yep. Usually what happens? Break right off. That's what he was running into. Nothing sticks to that shit metal, but at least in my experience, you do it a couple times, you'll get it. I mean... Another thing to try is just... Grab the fucker with some blue channel locks. When they're protruding, a pipe wrench works too. The real tricky ones are the ones inside the stuck inside the head, but this one's going. Sometimes the heat works too. Just just welding on it like that might have it might not have won a spin by hand, but after heating it with the welder. come right out kind of thing. Yeah, unfortunately, the cheap channel locks just don't seem to do the job. These are, I forget what brand name, but maybe channel lock brand. My buddy Corey gave me. The teeth are just way better. They're better cut, sharper, they grab. And the center doesn't fly apart and you don't smash your knuckles on shit. So, there's two. We only have one that's embedded in here. But I think he said it took the top threads out. We'll see. You can see those. They just got the teeth marks on them from the channel locks. Popped them right out. 
So those aren't the problem usually. People usually don't have the issue with that. It's this some bitch in here. Rusty ass bolt. Super rusty. We'll try to uh, Now, let me dislodge this for a second. If we take a look in there, I didn't grind the threads or anything, I just wanted to nick the rust off so we can possibly try to stick some fucking welds to that thing. <laughs> what a disaster. And uh, you'd be surprised on this, you just, you build blobs and keep knocking the blob out. And even if the blob rips off, Eventually, the blob is going to stick. And you'll be able to do something with it. Hopefully, anyway. Seems like when you video stuff, you know, doesn't always work out. Started. Gotta drop this into the hot pan. I don't know. Let me get in here again. See, there is not much. There's just a little bit poking out, but get the channel locks on there and
almost out. I'm losing my plier handle. Damn. Here she is. That's all three. Woo, one of them's real hot. So that's all three. So this cylinder head, if we take a look, all the rest are empty. Excellent, I'll start on the next one. All right, this is cylinder head number two. There's one in the back, protruding. Middles are okay. Little protruder. And another one broken in again. So what we will do is I will clamp this camera and I will try my best to wrench those rusted jobbers out. We will see what they do. If they don't want to move, hit them with some heat. This guy out of the way. Oh, I didn't need a socket. Put that in the pile. And again. Yep, that one's not going at all. It's just stripping apart. So what we're gonna do, heat it up with the welder. A little blast. Maybe a little brush too. If we can't get a good contact, we will give it a scrape with the uh, grinder. There we go. Stupid hot. Has a little booger on it. Give us some traction, maybe. I don't want to punch my hands through these cylinder heads and slice my hands apart. Anyone that's worked on LS cylinder heads knows the pain. Fucking razor sharp aluminum cylinder heads. All right. Yep. There she goes. Just like that. <laughs> it's hard to grab when this booger is so uh, <laughs> the edges and everything are fucking shitty can't grab them but whatever do what I can are certainly in there and they all give up the fight there it goes after completely destroying cylinder heads with drill bits because everyone told me you have to drill them out shit I can't fucking drill them out that's way too hard for me this is way easier bam Bam. All right. Now we'll try this guy. The other one that's poking out. Get it in frame. 
Yeah, get it in frame. Get your shit together, man. Let's try to muscle this one. Oh. Hey, good channel locks, good teeth. That's all you need is a decent pair of channel locks. I have one pair. <laughs> And the vice grip ones, like the snapping ones, don't seem to work as good either. It, these are just beasts. Obviously, it's like the monkey wrench design where the harder you push, the harder it grabs. It's making that one look easy. Ta-da! So I only got two that are broken off inside. This is gonna make Rob pissed when I tell him it took me like a five minute long video. Take all these out. I wonder what he was doing. People so seem to struggle with it. Some people really struggle with it. I don't know. A little bit of dirt and other shit in here. Just jab my fucking Harbor Freight brush in there. Get her nice and ground up. All right, we'll try to weld. We'll try to blob this thing. Left hand blob method. You ready, kids? I definitely need a new lens. I can't see at all. Alright guys, now the question is, is that enough blob, which, yep, it is, otherwise, otherwise it's breaking off, gotta watch this stupid, nah, it's going, check it out. Yeah, he's gonna be pissed <laughs> when he watches this. I'm like, he asked me about it. And I'm like, you know what? I've posted about it many times, but I've never shown how to do it. And lately, I've been in the mood to just film it all and everybody loves it. They say they like the long version because you get to see mishaps and stuff and Much shorter than the other ones. Just get that blob on there and no tricks. Well, a trick, but no tricks. Not lying when we say it's easy. All right. Last one. Let me make sure this camera's lined up. That last son of a bitch. That's what we'll name it. This one's name is son of a bitch. S O B. My dentist brush in there. All right. Ground wires on, ready to rock. See if we can weld this rusty piece of shit. made a giant boogie while it's cherry sometimes they break right off sometimes it helps out real good 
Like if you have trouble, try grabbing it when it's like fucking cherry hot. Yeah, hey, it's going. There's enough. I got traction already. Watch me go. Watch the table, Matt. Fucking everyone's going for a ride. Try to do it this way. Nope. All the grip power is this way. Incredible, really. Easy shit. Just gotta get around this fucking bracket. It's the real pain in the ass. Oh, nope, broke it off. See that? We got the AFR and it broke. Perfect. It was going a little easy. Honestly. link on that. What's oh, thick? Let's get a little ridiculous. That's kind of big. That's kind of that's not ridiculous, it's stupid. <laughs> I don't have any metal I want to waste. What about this like shifter bracket? That'd be funny. If I can even weld through the paint or something. right off. Twisted by hand. Oh shit, by hand guys. Oh, broke off. Well, gotta keep going. You got it by hand. It's a very rusty bolt. Lots of uh, porosity. So it just keeps breaking. Just gotta keep welding it. Oh, by hand. Oh, man. That's rough. Here we go, Dad. You're not watching, Mom. Mom, watch. Mom, watch. When your mom looks, his ship breaks right off. Always happens. Wow, look at that. People say I lost my way. I submit this to all of you. That's like a TH400 shifter bracket. Stud remover. By hand. Sons of bitches. <laughs>